Hey guys, Jim here. Welcome to our Pediatric Sonography Registry Review. Feel free to pause the video after I ask the question, give you enough time to answer it before I answer it. Let's get started. Question one. Click on the structure responsible for protecting the human brain from trauma via a cushioning effect. So where on this image would describe the area responsible for protecting the human brain from trauma? The answer is right here. This is the fourth ventricle. Question two. What does this ultrasound demonstrate? A. Autosomal polycystic recessive kidney disease. B. Autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease. C. Multicystic dysplastic kidney. Or D. Acute polynephritis. The answer is A, autosomal polycystic recessive kidney disease. Question number three, which of the following falls within the normal renal size for a three month old? A, five millimeters, B, 6.5 centimeters, C, 50 millimeters, or D, eight centimeters? The answer is C, 50 millimeters or five centimeters. Just be prepared to be able to convert from millimeters to centimeters and vice versa on your boards. Question four, which RI is considered a kidney transplant dysfunction? A, 0 0.8 meters per second. B, 0 0.8 centimeters per second. C, six millimeters per second. Or D, 0 0.9. The answer is D, 0.9. The resistive index is a unitless number, and anything above 0.8 is considered kidney transplant dysfunction. Question five, which of the following has the porous prognosis? A, rhabdoid tumor, B, Wilms tumor, C, mesoblastic nephroma, or D, multilocular cyst nephroma? The answer is A, rhabdoid tumor. Question six, which of the following is a normal diameter for portal veins in children less than 10 years of age? A, eight centimeters, B, 10 millimeters, C, 1.2 centimeters, or D, 0 0.7 centimeters? The answer is D, 0 0.7 centimeters or seven millimeters. Question seven, hepatoblastomas are associated with what syndrome? A, Rye syndrome, B, beckwith weidemann syndrome, C, denys drasch syndrome, or D, Meckel-Gruber syndrome? The answer is B, beckwith weidemann syndrome. Question eight, this type of tumor peaks in which of the following years? A, 12 to 13 and 18 to 19 years. B, six to seven and 10 to 11 years. C, one to two and eight to nine years. Or D, four to five or 12 to 14 years. This is called a hepatocellular carcinoma, 
and these type of tumors will peak at four to five years or 12 to 14 years. Question number nine, click on the two structures responsible for learning, memory, reward, motivation, emotion, and romantic interaction. In this image, you're gonna have to click on two structures. For this, you're going to want to click on both the caudate nucleus, right here and right here. Question 10. All of the following are reasons for a liver transplant except A. Glycogen storage disease B. Tyrosonemia C. Primary sclerosing cholangitis or D. Acute hepatitis The answer is D, acute hepatitis. Question number 11. Which of the following can indicate a post-transplant liver complication? A, hepatitis. B, hepatic artery stenosis. C, portal hypertension. Or D, pleural effusion. The answer is B, hepatic artery stenosis. Question 12. Which of the following is a normal common bile duct size for a four-year-old? A, five millimeters. B, one centimeter. C, three millimeters. Or D, two centimeters. The answer is C, three millimeters or 0 0.3 centimeters. Question 13, which of the following is a normal wall thickness measurement for a distended bladder? A, five millimeters, B, one centimeter, C, four millimeters, or D, two millimeters? The answer is D, two millimeters or 0 0.2 centimeters. Question 14, which of the following is a normal gallbladder size? A, three centimeters, B, two millimeters, C, 1.5 centimeters, or D, four millimeters? The answer is B, two millimeters, and this is the same for adults. Question 15, which of the following artifacts is shown with staghorn calculus when using color Doppler? A, acoustic shadowing, B, reverberation, C, twinkling, or D, acoustic enhancement? The answer is C, twinkling. Question 16. Click on the artifact representing low attenuation resulting from a low attenuating structure. The artifact this question is talking about is enhancement, which is right here, caused when a pulse hits this low attenuating structure like a cyst and then causes an enhancement in the posterior region. Question 17, which of the following occurs when the anterior cerebral artery dilates? A, 
cerebrovascular resistance increases and blood flow will decrease. B, cerebrovascular resistance decreases and blood flow will increase. C, cerebrovascular pressure decreases and blood flow will decrease. Or is it D, cerebrovascular pressure increases and blood flow will increase? The answer is B, the cerebrovascular resistance decreases and blood flow will increase. Question 18, when hydrocephalus is present, what happens to intracranial pressure and diastolic flow? A, pressure decreases and diastolic flow decreases. B, pressure increases and diastolic flow increases. C, pressure decreases and diastolic flow increases. Or is it D, pressure increases and diastolic flow decreases? The answer is D, pressure will increase and diastolic flow decreases. Question 19, which of the following will suggest the need for a ventricular shunt? A, elevated pulsatility index. B, elevated time average mean velocity. C, elevated resistive index. Or D, elevated time average peak velocity. The answer is C, elevated resistive index. Question 20, what does this picture represent? A, externally rotated adducted hip. B, internally rotated abducted hip. C, hip is subluxed superiorly. Or D, hip is luxated inferiorly. The answer is C, hip is subluxed superiorly. Question 21, click in the area where the beta angle is determined. The answer is right here. This is the angle between the ilium and the labrum. Question 22. The angle between the acetabular roof and the ilium is termed what and what is a normal angle? A. Alpha angle with an angle of 65 degrees. B. Beta angle with an angle of 53 degrees. C. Alpha angle with an angle of 35 degrees. Or D. Beta angle with an angle of 60 degrees. The answer is A, alpha angle with an angle of 65 degrees. Question 23, click in the structure that separates the cerebral hemispheres and provides channels for blood and cerebral spinal fluid to drain. The answer is right here. This is called the Falk Cerebri. Question 24. 
Which of the following measurements is considered a positive diagnosis for canal length in pyloric stenosis? A, greater than 15 centimeters, B, greater than three millimeters, C, greater than 1.5 centimeters, or D, greater than 0.3 centimeters? The answer is C, greater than 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters. Question 25, what does this ultrasound demonstrate? A, arcuate uterus, B, septate uterus, C, bicornuate uterus, or D, didelphic uterus? The answer is D, didelphic uterus. Question 26. This is actually a bonus question. I'm gonna have two bonus questions for this test, just in case you're gonna take your exam before I crank out the next video. So click on the renal pelvis. Where would you click on the renal pelvis in this image? These questions are called hotspot questions. You're gonna to wanna to get these correct because these are weighed more than any other question. The answer is right here, comes up around here and then around like that. So I'll just click that. Bonus question number two. Based on this ultrasound, which best describes this diagnosis? A, inflammation of the foramen of Lushka and Magendi. B, obstruction of the foramen of Monroe. C, obstruction of the fourth ventricle. Or D, obstruction of the aqueduct of Sylvius. The answer is A, inflammation of the foramen of Lushka and Magendi. And this is a condition that causes all of the ventricles to dilate. Well, that concludes our first 25 questions of this pediatric sonography registry review. I'll hurry and write 25 more questions as fast as I can and upload that video as fast as I can. I'm Jim with UltrasoundBoardReview.com. Thank you so much for watching.